Where do you think Chris is going? Well, I have my suspicions. Um, maybe somewhere, I don't know, in um, India or maybe Russia. Somewhere around um, uh, India or Russia, I think. Yeah, because uh, I know um, he speaks Russian. And, um, well, I'm not very sure, but. Um, I see some connection there. The, the way I came to know he speaks Russian was like a, a bit dodgy because he mentioned something about the army and something about uh, Russia and some... I don't know, since that moment I, I just started thinking um, he's, not, uh, he's not what he seems to be, you know what I mean? But you wish him well. I hope everything is fine. Yeah. Am I done, Jimmy? Yeah, yeah, we're finished. No! Yes. Chris Long has been to many places in the world. He's been here and here, and he's lived here and here. And he's finally ended up in Sunderland. <gasps> Sunderland. Yes, yes. Why? Why do you think he's here? Because because it's such a wonderful place, and the people he's worked with are fantastic. Yes, yes. But now, finally, he's going here to France. Yes. And what in France? Oh, about uh, this part here, I think. Okay. And uh, good luck to him, I say. Good luck. Bye, Chris. Bye. Bye, Chris. Bye. Bye, Bruce, and enjoy your life. All the best, Chris. <laughs> Goodbye. Good luck. Have a nice time. Bye, Chris. Um, I wonder if I see your brother anymore at the at the cinema at the theatre. Good luck. Bye. Chris, it's been very nice knowing you and working with you, and I sincerely hope you enjoy your retirement and your life in France. Good luck, and it's been a pleasure knowing you. This is a message from Cousin It. <laughs> enjoy your retirement, and your cool drinks by the pool, and your wanders down the French lanes. I'm not marking, I'm not dealing with students. <sighs> Enjoy. <laughs> Can I just say my one lasting memory of Chris Long will always be the day on summer school when he refused point blank to do the Morris dance. I'm not quite sure what it was. I had showered that day. Yes, I, I, I've never quite understood why this rebuff. I decided in the end, perhaps it was frightened I was just going to hit him with the stick anyway. <laughs> However, that is one of my memories. Another memory is that the first few years of summer school were such damned hard work, but such great fun. And I would like to say thank you very much, Chris. We enjoyed all of your dressing up antics. All the very best. Take care. Hello, Chris. I remember when I first joined Sunderland, we were paired as teaching partners together, and I've got very fond memories of that summer. But I also don't have fond memories of the summer of Helena Gate, where we were paired in a, um, a teaching pod 
you me and yourself and another teacher called Helena. All I can say is that it was a very interesting experience and was therefore referred to as Helena Gate. I'm sure you remember. Now you're going off to your new European pod to do some inter-European podal communication. Um, I don't actually believe it's you leaving. Uh, I think it's actually your twin brother and that you'll be back with your smiling face to see us again in September. Enjoy your retirement, Chris.